Hello, sassy soul. Do you know what day it is? Well, <laughs> I know what you're thinking. I am usually here on Tuesdays doing Taco Tuesday. But I am finally back in the river house. The house that has no wheels. <laughs> hey, Molly. And um, I, I'm still living in a tiny house, also known as an RV. <laughs> hey, Renji, Molly. Well, I may do Taco Tuesday later, but do you know that today is... English Muffin Day? English... Eng <laughs> Y'all, I have been looking up all of the different food holidays and I'm stoked because, you know, I love pilling around in the kitchen. <laughs> and I am going to share a hack with you if you are... Um, like me, well, <laughs> um, let's just say I'm, I'm, I'm at a, of a certain age that uh, needs to watch her carbs, but I still love bread, and I packed on some pounds, too, because when Johnny Angel and I were traveling um, on the road, he would always fix a sandwich for us, and I would ride back when he's driving get into their fridge, and then we would eat a sandwich. And I typically, I mean, ate more bread than I typically do. But I still love it. And since it's English, um, National English Muffin Day, I wanted to share a hack with you that is low carb. And you can make it in 90 seconds in the microwave, believe it or not. I was stoked. So I, for a change, actually uh, have made this recipe twice before uh, and eating it before going live because typically I just wing it on here. But this I got to show you. Hey, Monique and Elizabeth. So I am going to make an low keto or uh, keto low carb English muffin in this um, Pampered Chef egg cooker. Hey Kelly! This, so uh, you can make all kinds of things in here. Typically, I'll put a couple of eggs in here. You get holds up to four. Shake it, put it in the microwave, bring it out, stir it up, put some cheese and stuff in it. Da 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 da, and there you go. <laughs> but this time, I am going to show you how to make a keto English muffin in 90 seconds in the microwave. Unbelievable, right? Okay, so everybody's microwave is different. And I can tell you that this microwave in the river house uh, is hotter than... Um, or runs it hotter, it cooks faster. I don't know if it's hotter. It cooks faster. Hey, 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 Molly. Um, than it does um, in the Gypsy Bus. The Gypsy Bus has the convection and the microwave together, and it um, takes a lot longer. And then, of course, the one at, at home is so different. But I'm going to show you how this one is actually true to. Um, the recipe 90 seconds to make a low carb keto style English muffin so and I believe it's gluten free if you're a, a gluten person so what it calls for we're gonna do this together can you see can you see I think you can see hey Betsy hey hey hey, hey. okay I think you can see so one large egg in the Pampered Chef microwave egg cooker. Okay. Oh, God. Lord, have mercy. <laughs> there we go. 
off to a great start. Okay, and it only makes one English muffin. And I'm going to tell you, I'm going to, when it's in the um, microwave, teach you some what makes an English muffin. Okay, one large egg. Uh, the recipe that I found on Pinterest calls for coconut flour and almond flour. Um, but she had some suggestions. All I have is almond flour. Okay, <laughs> it's clear on your head. <laughs> Okay, almond flour. So this is um, super finely ground, and I'm going to use four tablespoons of almond flour. Okay, all right, so I'm going to do it smoothly or evenly. There's one, two, three. It's you're going to be, it, it's good. You need to try this. And if you um, want the recipe, you just let me know and um, I'll send it your way. Okay, now one tablespoon of milk. I have been using half and half. I love this in my coffee. So that's what I'm going for. I do have almond milk in the fridge, um, but I haven't tried that yet. So one tablespoon of milk, okay. Barely got enough. All right, good, got it. One tablespoon of milk. One tablespoon of olive oil. Okay, so fun, y'all. You're not gonna believe that you can make an English muffin in the microwave in 90 seconds. Okay. That was one tablespoon of olive oil. Hello, Richard and Charles. Thanks for watching. Okay, and then a quarter teaspoon of baking powder. I think this is the first, this is like the first, well, we've grilled since we've got back to the river house, but this is the first thing that I've made. Okay, quarter teaspoon of um, baking powder, right? Yes. Okay. This um, Pampered Chef egg cooker is only $16. And it is great for cooking stuff up for breakfast fast. And it does have this um, little handle here. So when it comes out of the microwave, it's not too hot to touch. Hello, Pamela and Caitlin. Okay, it calls for a pinch of salt. Ooh. All right, a pinch of salt. There we go. That's a good enough pinch. I have this. You can shake it. Uh, I have what I've done is I've used this little teeny tiny little whisk. Ooh, whisk it around a little bit. To shake it all up when it when I have just eggs in here I don't use um, the whisk but since this has flour and some other stuff in it I had to resign Caitlin and Pamela okay keto bread in 90 seconds typically um, if it were just eggs there's a little hole in there so you would just cover it up and give it a little shake now I have to tell you my favorite English muffins Thomas's English muffin I'm gonna give you a little history on that as I love those cinnamon raisin ones but I know I just rarely ever 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 give that gift to myself hey Michelle so uh, with since I do love the cinnamon raisin English muffins I do have um, this cinnamon bark uh, essential oil, and this is from the Vitality line with Young Living, so that means you can consume it. And I'm only so this is my first time trying it with the oil, so I'm just gonna do uh, one drop if I can control it for one drop. Come on, Whew. there we go. <laughs> There's my one drop. I haven't tried it with the cinnamon yet, so I'm excited. <laughs> hey, Mickey. K 
can you believe that you can make even this gypsy soul RV housewife can make a keto English muffin well I didn't come up with the recipe I must be honest I did find it on Pinterest Does anybody else love Pinterest oh my gosh I use up a lot of my RV band with <laughs> uh, with that okay in the microwave for 90 seconds here we go here we go all right okay okay <laughs> here we go so let me tell you this is so interesting i think it's interesting an english muffin was first called a toaster crumpet and it was invented by a British immigrant to New York um, named Samuel Thomas. Hence, I'm guessing, hence, these are the English muffins that you see on the store with the name Thomas, right? <laughs> uh, I am not on the keto plan right now, but I, um, since I'm back home, I am... Uh, back at the river house back home in virginia i am more i am trying to do better keto is i'm a low carb person keto is really 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 low carb anyways um it was immediately embraced as more elegant and alternative to toast and it was served in fine hotels and in mainstay for americans i was doing some other research like what's the difference well one of the differences in um a crumpet and an English muffin is um, English muffins no crumpets aren't cut so, uh, so that was one of the things and let's see uh, I lost it oh and there you go there's 90 seconds are you ready I hope it turns out good because the two times I did it, it did come out just fine. And every single time I've used this um, Paper Chef um, egg cooker. But, ooh, I can smell the cinnamon. Hey, Christine. Oh, I'm stoked. I can smell the cinnamon. So I'm hoping that that's going to be the key. Um, to making it that cinnamon raisin. Now you can add in cheese if you want a more savory. You can do that. Um, you can, you know, I'm making the keto English muffin in here, but you can uh, do savory. It's um, I. This is perfect for RV living. I have um, well, I have three places. I have the gypsy bus, the river house, and the lake house, and I have one of these at two out of the three places. It's 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 awesome sauce. Okay. <laughs> okay. Ah! All right. So, um, you some people will spray, and sometimes I will spray the inside of this um, paper chub egg cooker. I did this time. It seems I'm doing well, my love. Thank you. It seems with this recipe um, that I don't need to do it. But I will share with you the key to get it to taste like an English muffin or a crumpet is that we're going, I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, it looks a little eggy. There's only one egg and there was four tablespoons of the flour okay can you see it's it's kind of big right you see this all right ah it's hot 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 so the key here to get it that um thank you mama gave it to me my mom gives me hats jewelry clothes <laughs> you name it my mother gives it to me and she has fabulous taste <laughs> and I must say so myself okay 
the key to getting it to have um, that English muffin flavor is to toast it in a pan. So I have this little Pampered Chef saute pan and I'm just going to put a tiny bit of butter in here in the front we're doing um, a light okay I'm gonna put a little bit of butter in there and then so I maybe I'm wondering I haven't tried to make these and then keep them on hand because it would be good just when like I was saying before, when Johnny Angel and I were traveling in the gypsy bus all over the country, when we were traveling and weren't stopping, we would eat sandwiches. I'm just wondering, and I hate, I mean, I love the sandwiches, but I didn't feel good about eating the bread, and the body blew up with it. So I may try to make some of these and see how they hold up. So here we go. I'm just going to cut it in half. So, as you know, an English muffin, um, they have holes in them. And you can see, I'm going to try to show it to you, this, this does have holes in it. They're not quite as big as Thomas's English muffins um, that have larger craters. But, actually, I think I might... This one, so here's something interesting about this time. I let the, um, I pull the ingredients out and let them come to room temperature. Um, and before when I made them twice, um, there, it was cold straight out of um, the refrigerator. These, this time with the um, ingredients having warmed up, the room temperature seems to be um, a little bit fluffier. Now it ha I'm just going to trim this off. And so now I'm going to um, put these in the little toaster. Get me some butter going on. And then I got this little extra piece this time because it's bigger. <laughs> and um, toast it three to four minutes each side. Let's see. I know it's Taco Tuesday also. I'm trying to figure out what tacos I'm going to eat tonight. <laughs> um, so the English muffin and the crumpet or cousins are like half brothers. Um, let's see. In fact, the English muffin started life as a split crumpet known as the toaster crumpet. The Brits did not invent the English muffin. <laughs> hey, Lisa. Um, in fact, they had never heard of it until the 1990s when Best Food, a unit of international conglomerate Unilever, Unilever bought the Thomas brand and began exporting it to the UK. <laughs> it's so funny. I love it. So, um, you want to hear what else? What other fun food holidays are coming up? Because I am into it. Okay. So, um, today is April 23rd, and it is not only English Muffin Day, it's also National Cherry Cheesecake Day. Love me some cherry cheesecake. I can make that in our um, Paper Chef Quick Cooker. That's amazing. I made it once. It turned out so good. It's National Picnic Day. And here in um, Virginia, the weather is fabulous today. Great day. 
for a picnic. Okay. All right. Okay. And then let's see what's coming up. Oh, tomorrow is National Pigs in a Blanket Day. Mm, I bet you do love crumpets, Christine. Um, tomorrow is National Sauvignon Blanc Day. Cheers. Uh, and so I have some exciting food shows coming up to celebrate each food holiday. All right, guys. Let me show you. I over I over toasted them. But let me show you. Look. There there you have a 90 second. Hey Diane, a 90 second keto bread English muffin made in the microwave with the Pampered Chef egg cooker. Love this thing. You can make little, you can make individual cakes. I mean, all kinds of things. So, if you want some more information about that, you can message me. And that's it for to, well, I was going to say it's not it for today. It's probably it for today. I, um, because I um, need to slam down. Uh, Pigs in the Blanket is English too. <laughs> Didn't like that. Um, I'm probably going to have a taco salad. And uh, let me see. Do I have my little thing? Oh, here it is. So, so tonight, I'm... I think what I'm just going to do, because I need to eat a salad, is use our um, Pampered Chef little stone right here. All you do is you put a um, tortilla inside of it, and then you dock it. Oh, let me see where my, my little thing is to dock it. Um, so you can use a fork, whatever, but docking means is to punch holes in it to because anytime that you're going to put that tortilla in here and put it in the microwave for your little salad shell, it's going to uh, get bubbles in it. And so you'll need to put the forks in it. And then in just, just a couple of minutes or so, you got a crispy a little taco shell, taco salad shell. <laughs> okay, guys. I just want to say happy happy English Muffin Day <laughs> and Taco Tuesday thanks for joining me live um, and I will see you again again soon peace love and happy trails baby God bless ya God bless ya